the Lynch video blog for Monday, October 17th. Um, I know most of you, myself included, were watching football yesterday afternoon. Uh, my wife happened to pop in the room and say, hey, you might want to uh, flip over to that race that's going on. I said, which one, the IndyCar race? She said, I, I don't know. Anyway, it was the IndyCar uh, final race of the season from Las Vegas. Uh, Dan Weldon was killed in just one of the most horrific crashes I've ever seen. I've been watching racing a pretty long time. And what was supposed to be a great day, the season finale uh, for the struggling IndyCar series, in which Weldon was competing for a $5 million prize to see if he could come from the back of the pack to finish first. He'd win $5 million splitting it with a fan. Turned out to be anything but a great day as he was killed on lap 11 very early in the race. 15 car pileup that just was, it's all over the internet if you want to check it out for yourself if you haven't seen it already. <clears throat> The cruel irony of this whole thing is Dan Weldon was only a part-time driver this year. This was only his third race of the season, and he was going to be taking Danica Patrick's place full-time next year, as today or yesterday was supposed to be her final race before she moves on full-time to NASCAR. Anyway, needless to say, the real, real cruel irony here is Weldon was spending his time as the test driver for IndyCar's new 2012 model, which is supposed to be a much safer car that's being introduced next year to keep these cars from launching into the air, which is what exactly happened to Weldon. His car was launched into the air, caught into the catch fence, burst into flames, and he was killed at the track. Um, just a horrific, terrible end to the race. They canceled the race. The drivers did a five-car tribute to Weldon and um, ABC concluded the broadcast. One thing I do need to throw in here that I just thought was kind of tacky, after Weldon was finally pronounced um, dead to the public, which was close to two hours after the horrible accident, ABC kept breaking to go to commercial, even though it was very apparent it was getting near to the end of their broadcast. And I just thought that felt kind of weird. Yeah, hey, come buy our products. Oh, sorry about the dude who was just killed in that terrible accident. Anyway, have yourselves a great day. We'll talk to you at 3 o'clock this afternoon.